Srimad Rachandra the 11th of November 1867 to the 9th of April 1901 was a Jain poet, mystic, philosopher, scholar and reformer. Born near Morbi, he was a prodigy and claimed to have recollection of his past lives at the age of 7. He performed Avidana, a memory retention and recollection test that gained him popularity, but he later discouraged it in favor of his spiritual pursuits. He wrote a large number of philosophical poetry including Atma Siddhi. He also wrote a large number of letters and commentaries and translated some religious texts. He is best known for his teachings on Jainism and his spiritual guidance to Mahatma Gandhi. Early life Srimad Rachandra was born on the 11th of November 1867, Kartik Sud Purnima, Vikram Samvat 1924, in Vivania, a port near Morbi, now in Gujarat, India. His mother, Devbai, was Svetambara Stanakvasi Jain, and his father, Rabjabai Mehta, and paternal grandfather, Panchan Mehta, were Vaishnava Hindu. So he was introduced to Jainism and Hinduism from early life. They were from Vaniya community and from Dasa Shramali caste. He was initiated in Vaishnavism by a sadhu named Ramadashi. He continued to study other Indian religions and was attracted to Ahimsa doctrine of Jainism. Later he chose Jainism because he considered that it provides best path to salvation. But Vaishnavism left a lasting influence on him. His birth name was Lakshminandan Mehta. He was renamed Rachand by his parents when he was four years old. Later his name changed to its Sanskrit form, Rachandra. Srimad, an honorific, was added by his disciples posthumously. His disciples also refer to him as Param Krupalu Dev Lord of the Highest Compassion. Recollection of previous lives Rachandra claimed that he first attained Jati Smarana Nan recollection of previous lives at the age of seven, in 1874. In an 1890 reply to a question from Padamshibai, his friend in Bombay, he described the incident. When I was seven years old, an elderly man named Amichand, well built, stout and sturdy, a neighbour in my village, suddenly died of a snake bite. I did not know what was death. I asked my grandfather as to what was the meaning of death. He tried to evade the reply and advised me to finish my meals. I insisted on a reply. At last he said. To die means the separation of the soul from the body. A dead body has no movement, it contaminates and decays. Such a dead body will be burnt to ashes near a river bank as it has ceased to function. Then I went secretly to the cremation ground and climbing a babool tree I saw the whole process of cremation of the dead man's body and I felt that those who burnt him were cruel. A train of thoughts started on the nature of the death and as a result I could recollect my previous lives. This incident played a pivotal role in his perception of the world. He described his spiritual journey in one of his poems. He wrote that he advanced on the path of spirituality he had already attained in his previous life. He claimed that he developed complete resignation and detachment to his mortal body and the rest of the world in 1897. He thanked the day of the experience in one of his poems written at the age of 30. The tree he climbed no longer exist but a monument temple with a model of the event was erected on the site. He experienced the same when he visited the fort in Junagadh. His experiences influenced him to live a religious life. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Prodigy. Rachandra had an exceptional memory retentiveness and recollection. He joined the school at the age of seven and a half but mastered the preliminaries in calculation in just a month. In two years, he completed the study of seven grades. At the age of eight, he started composing poems. He composed verse synopses on Ramayana and Mahabharata at the age of nine. He gained maturity in thinking and reasoning and by the age of ten started public speaking. At the age of 11 he started writing articles in newspapers and magazines, such as in Budaprakash and won several prizes in essay writing competitions. He wrote a 300 stanza poem on A Watch at the age of 12. In 1880, he went to Reichert to study English, but very little is known about his education there. By 1882, he had studied and mastered several subjects. He became popular as a young poet and was referred to as Kavi due to it. He occasionally visited the residence of the ruler of Kutch as a writer where his handwriting were praised as best. 
He started attending his father's shop at age of 13. He composed many poems on life of Rama and Krishna while sitting in the shop. Later life <inaudible> Avadana Avadana is a difficult test of attention and recollection in which a person attends multiple objects and activities at a time. In 1884, Rachandra came from Vivania to Morbi where he saw Shastri Shankarlal Mbhat performing eight Avadana at a time. Gautulalji Maharaj was performing the same in Bombay. He saw the performance and quickly picked it up. Just two days after the performance, he performed it in front of his friends and later in public. Initially he performed 12 Avadana in public in Morbi but later he performed 16 Avadana in audience of 2000 in Wadwan, which was praised in newspapers. He performed 52 Avadana in Botad in a private meeting with his friend Haralal Shivalal Sheth which included playing chopit game with three players, playing cards with three players, playing chess, keeping count of the sound of a small gong, mentally computing arithmetic sums involving addition, subtraction, multiplication and division four, keeping count of the movement of beads along a thread, solving eight new problems, composing verses on eight diverse topics selected at the time and in the specific meter chosen by various members of the audience 16, rearranging 400 words of various languages spoken in random order including Greek, English, Sanskrit, Hindi, Arabic, Latin, Urdu, Gujarati, Marathi, Bengali, Maru, Jideji, in the right order of subject, predicate 16, teaching a student, contemplating various figures of speech 2, all at one time, he performed Satavadana 100 Avadana at Sir Framji Kowashi Institute in Bombay on the 22nd of January 1887, which gained him praise and publicity. He was awarded gold medals by institutes and public for his performances as well as title of Sakshat Saraswati incarnation of the goddess of knowledge. Rachandra believed that the publicity gained by such avadanas may became an obstacle in spiritual pursuits, so he gradually discouraged the performances and stopped it completely by age of 20. The performances attracted wide coverage in national newspapers. In September 1893, when in Chicago, Virchand Gandhi mentioned this feat at the Parliament of the World's Religions. <laughs> Last years In 1887, Maha Sud 12, vs 1944, Rachandra married to Zabakben, daughter of Papatlal, the elder brother of Rivashankar Jagjivanda's Mehta, a Zaveri merchant family. He then engaged in the pearls and diamond business. They had two sons and two daughters. His in-laws wanted him to move to Bombay and establish business there, but he was interested in his spiritual pursuits. In 1890, vs 1947, he experienced the self-realization for the first time at Uttarsanda where he was meditating under a mango tree near a lake. The tree no longer exists but a memorial shrine dedicated to the event is built there. He continued his householder life for more six years and had been successful in his business. He is well known as a spiritual guide of Mahatma Gandhi. They were introduced in Mumbai in 1891 and had various conversations through letters while Gandhi was in South Africa. Gandhi noted his impression of Srimad Rachandra in his autobiography, The Story of My Experiments with Truth, calling Rachand by his guide and helper and his refuge in moments of spiritual crisis. He advised Gandhi to be patient and to study Hinduism deeply. His teaching directly influenced Gandhi's non-violence philosophy. He stayed in Gujarat with his disciples and avoided moving to Bombay. He retired from householder life and business when he was 30. He spent three months in Eder where he had instructed seven monks in religious discourses sitting on a stone, Pudvi Sila. A memorial temple and a prayer hall is built there later. During his final years, he suffered a chronic digestive disorder. No specific cause of death was identified except extreme weakness. In 1900, he lost a large amount of his weight. He was under medical supervision who had advised to move to coastal region of Gujarat for benefit of health. He contracted an illness during his stay in Dharampur, Gujarat, from which he never recovered. In 1901, he, his mother, and wife stayed at Aga Khan's bungalow in Ahmedabad before moving to Wadwan camp. He died on 9 April 1901 5, vs 1957 in Raikat now in Gujarat surrounded by his family, friends and disciples. 
A small photograph taken after his death is displayed in a library in Combat established by him. The room where he died is now a prayer hall. Works <laughs> 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 Ratchandra wrote Stri Nidhi Bodhaka The Nature of Ideal Moral Life for Women, 1884 in which he had advocated women's education as essential to national freedom. Sad Bodh Shattuck is his work on ethical topics. Mokshamala is about self-liberation written in an easy style understandable to young people. Due to delay in the publication of Mokshamala, he composed Bhavna Bodh for his readers. It was a small book of 50 pages in which he gave instructions to cultivate 12 sentiments to lead the life of non-attachment. He had composed Namiraja, a work of 5,000 verses explaining the nature of the four Purusharthas. In Shirvir Smirana 1885, Rachandra described the brave warriors of the past and compared them with their descendants who are not able to free India from British dominance. In Atma Siddhi, a Gujarati short verse poem, he propounds six fundamental truths on soul which are also known as Satipada six steps. He lays special emphasis on right perception samyaktva, personal efforts and a true teacher's guidance in the path to self-realization. It is summary of his interpretation of Jainism. It is adapted in a musical bhajan form by Shafali Shah. It is translated in English several times, the first by J. L. Jaini in 1923. Its popular translation was published by Brahmachari Gavardhan Das in 1957. He wrote more than 900 letters which charts his spiritual journey and teachings to disciples. He also edited a newspaper, Vairagya Vilas, Srimad Rachandra or Vachanamru as collection of his complete works including letters and other writings. His several poems are popular including Apoorva Avsar Evo Kiare Aavshe Mool Marg Samblo Jino Re Bina Nayan Pavi Nahi He Prabhu He Prabhu Shu Kahu Yam Nayam Sanjam Aap Kyo Ikchi Chhe Zhajogyan Apoorva Avsar Evo Kiare Aavshe and, Hey Prabhu, Hey Prabhu, Shu Kahu, were Mahatma Gandhi's favorite bhajans and were included in the Ashram Bhajanavali. Translation and commentaries Rachandra wrote 51 quotes on Samyati Dharma the religion of monk as described in Dasha Vaikalika Siddhanta it is Gujarati rendering of the original Magadhi text. He also wrote commentary on Moksha Siddhanta VS 1953. He incompletely translated Chidananji Swaradhyagyan. He wrote an incomplete commentary on Shovasi of Anangan. In his three letters number 393, 394 and 395 printed in Srimad Rachandra. He commented on one of the couplets of sixth out of the eight perspective, A T H Yagdrashtini Sajaya composed by Yashavajaya. He wrote equivalent Gujarati translation of the first 100 verses of Atmanashasan. He wrote on three bhavna or contemplations Anitya, Asharan and a little on Sansara bhavna out of twelve bhavna described in Sri Ratnakaran Shravakachar. He completely translated Panchastakaya of Kundakunda. He had prepared an index on the Pragnavabodh VS 1956. Legacy Rachandra was inspired by works of Kundakunda and Digambara mystical tradition and, in turn, inspired several spiritual teachers and followers including people from all schools of Jainism. His followers sometimes consider his teaching as a new path of Jainism, neither Svetambara nor Digambara, and revere him as a saint. His path is sometimes referred as Raj Bhakta Marg, Kavipanth, or Srimadhyaya, which has mostly lay followers as was Rachandra himself. His teachings influenced Kanji Swami, Dada Bhagwan, Rakesh Javeri, Saubhagbhai, Laluji Maharaj, Lagiraj Swami, Atmananji and several other religious figures. Some of them established temples and institutions in his dedication and to spread his teachings. Such temples often house his pictures and images based on photographs taken in a studio in various meditation postures just a month before his death. 
Srimad Rachandra's teachings have been popular in the Jain diaspora communities, mostly in East Africa, the United Kingdom and North America. A special cover featuring him and Rabindranath Tagore was published by India Post on occasion of Gandhi Janti in 2002. The government of India released 10 rupees coins, 150 rupees souvenir coins and the stamps at the Sabarmati Ashram in Ahmedabad on the 29th of June 2017 as the commemoration of Srimad Rachandra's 150th birth anniversary. UC Riverside's College of Humanities, Arts and Social Sciences and the Department of Religious Studies announced the establishment the Srimad Rachandra Endowed Chair in Jain Studies on 17 February 2017. A 34 feet idol of Rachandra was inaugurated in November 2017 at Srimad Rachandra Ashram Dharampur by Rakesh Javeri and Sri Sri Ravi Shankar. In popular culture A Gujarati play entitled Yugpurish, Mahatma na Mahatma depicting the spiritual relationship between Srimad Rachandra and Mahatma Gandhi was produced by Srimad Rachandra Mission, Dharampur, in November 2016. <laughs> Notes and references <laughs> <laughs> Notes <laughs>